Vietnam is one of the most biodiverse nations and also home to the world's rarest primates. I promise myself and I stick my life myself to meat conservation. I'm hopeful because I see a lot of change. Lên tổ của chúng tôi thì anh em là phải hầu như là ai cũng có coi như là tấm lòng. Chọn with us to save in our environment. Fauna and Flora International have worked to conserve the country's wildlife since 1997. FFI supports over 80 local community forest guards who undertake anti-poaching patrols and monitor illegal logging. Vietnam has 25 species of primates, which is a lot, and most people don't know it has so many. And of those 25 species, 11 are critically endangered. So in terms of the number of species and their level of threat, Vietnam is actually one of the most important countries in the world for, for primate conservation. One of the species FFI are working to conserve is the critically endangered and endemic Delacos langur a monkey completely adapted to and dependent on limestone cast habitats for its survival. But the very limestone on which they live is itself highly threatened by quarrying for the cement industry. của chúng tôi bây giờ là muốn bảo vệ được cái loài vật coi như là quý hiếm này. FFI scientists discovered 100 delacors in Kim Bang and are supporting conservation efforts by employing forest guards and establishing a new nature reserve. We very much focus on raising the awareness for the local uh, people, local communities, and also sometimes local authorities. Just minutes outside of Da Nang, FFI partners with local NGO Green Viet to conserve a unique and beautiful primate. In Sun Chia, it's very interesting. There's a, a species of primate called the Red Shank Duke Langa. It's a little bit less threatened than some of our other species. It's only endangered as opposed to critically endangered, and it's not endemic. It is found in Cambodia and Laos as well, but it's still very much a, an imperiled, threatened primate. Vietnam is rapidly developing. Poverty rates have declined dramatically, but with a fast-growing economy comes a thirst for raw materials and all the trappings of a middle-class life, like new housing, cars, and hotels. The target of education center want to improve and want to change the mind in the student in around Vietnam about the animal, about the nature. They want to save it. Around 18 tourist resorts were due to be built inside San Cha, with dire consequences. But through the work of Green Viet and partners, the government halted construction and reduced that number significantly. Crucially, most of the Langa habitat will now be protected. Whether it's the government with their policies and funding, change in the attitude of young people, even corporations and CEOs getting involved, I can see huge change from even just 10 or 15 years ago, engagement with environmental issues, conservation, so that's very exciting. And then me personally, I would say it's because we've had a lot of success. So where FFI has worked, we can see populations have rebounded. We've established several new nature reserves and national parks. So while globally, maybe things are very difficult, and if you look at global statistics, it can be very, be very you know, depressing. On the ground, at the individual level, the program level, I can see a lot of success, and that, that gives me hope. Please help FFI to raise awareness about Vietnam's amazing 25 species of monkey and ape before it's too late.